downtown in New York City at 1 Center Street, the home of our new Manhattan Borough President, Mark Levine. We're getting to know all the political personalities and Mark was the chair of the health committee in the New York City Council and now he's taking office as Manhattan Borough President. So what are some of the first things on your desk? We need to bring about a recovery from Manhattan, but we're also going directly to the people to help them get access to the resources they need in this Omicron surge. We opened a testing site at my northern Manhattan office on 125th Street. It's open Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Testing is free. So Mark, how many languages do you speak? <laughs> Depends how you count it, but languages are kind of my obsession. Uh, I'm just in love with learning every language I can. Every time I meet someone from another part of the world, it's a learning opportunity. So, uh, hablo español como quien se lo sabe. Sí, hablo español también. Gamani me de bello, please. Ulai at me vina casat lo. So that that's Hebrew. Ego mi la olenica. El latín es proto. Ego ego país sin helada. Ine poliorea. That was Greek. Mark. I sure did, but don't quiz me because I probably could not solve the Schrodinger equation now. I will say that physics has really changed the way I look at the world, and I think it's changed the kind of elected official I am. You know, in physics, uh, what they teach you is that any problem, no matter how difficult, if you attack it from enough different angles, eventually it gives up. And I look at policy problems that way too. And maybe it's why I'm kind of into data. Uh, and it served me well during this pandemic. I don't have uh, a medical degree, but uh, I, I have an affinity for science and uh, make good use of it as, as chair of the health committee. And now as borough president, I think you'll probably still see a little bit of the physicists come out. Uh, you might be getting lots of data and charts about where we are in Manhattan. Um, people seem to like it, and uh, I get to, to continue to uh, be a, a wannabe scientist. So uh, stay tuned for more of that fun stuff.